Hey. So, I've been wondering. Would you like to go out and eat tonight? And then maybe I can take you to a secret spot that I know of outside of the town. Would you please come with me? I mean, I'm planning on going there anyways because I've been having a tough time lately and I just like to de-stress out there, so... It'd be really nice to have uh, some company. Plus, eating alone isn't exciting. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could convince you to come with me. I'll pick you up at around 5 then? Awesome. I'll see you later then. Hello? Anybody home? Ah, there you are. Aren't you all dressed up? Well, it's not like you really wear dresses to class all that often. At least not as far as I know. How would I know? Well... I mean, obviously I check you out every now and then, jeez. Hey, I can't hope that you were born looking so goddamn good. That's your fault, okay? Aw, somebody's face is getting a little red. <laughs> How adorable. Anyways, shall we get going? Did you have any preference on where we ate? You're gonna make me pick, really? You know I'm not picky at all, and I'll eat anything, so if you have a preference, then you gotta let me know right now. Alright, then we're definitely going to get some Asian food, if that's okay with you, after all. Good, because I don't think we could be friends or even look at each other if, uh, if you didn't like Asian food. It's like, that's my favorite food. I love ramen and sushi. Ugh. I mean, there's more, but like, you know, those are the main ones we have here in America, obviously, so. Look, stop making me talk and get in the car already. I'm getting really hungry right now. I know I haven't shut up about it, but that food was just so good. And luckily we're almost to the, uh, to the spot I want to take you to. I didn't mention it was a far drive? <laughs> Oopsie. Well... My dad used to take me up here when I was younger. And we used to just have some father-son time. But now that I live alone and uh, things happened, basically it's just me coming up here. And I figured it's such a nice place that I wanted to share it and not just keep it to myself. No, it's nothing fancy. Just, uh, just has a nice view. And it looks down on the city and everything. Well, I mean, with you it might be looking kind of romantic, but really I just planned it to talk to you. Well, of course we talk already, but, you know, talk with the moon and stars shining down on us. Seems like a much better atmosphere than over the phone or in the college cafeteria. Alright, it might be a little romantic. Obviously we're on a date. Still, I really just wanted to come up here and talk. It's 
speaking of, here we are. What do you think? When it's light out, you can see all the way to the horizon. Even now, we can see to the next town over, which is pretty incredible. Kind of just reminds you that people are just a small part of the world. Even though the cities are surrounded by beautiful nature, I still admire them. Yeah, building them is bad for the environment and everything, but architecture and everything is still so beautiful. Hey, don't make that face at me. A popular guy can have interests too, you know. And there's more to me than just being good with the ladies and guys and animals and teachers and everybody in general. So, I am not cocky. Excuse you. You're the one over here saying these things about me. Well, not now, but you have in the past. I'm just confident, alright? And last time I checked, you liked a little bit of confidence. Or a lot, which I have both. <laughs> oh. You are just so easy to fluster. I'm not complaining. You look really cute with your face all red. Almost like a little cherry tomato. No, I'm not gonna eat you. I know I could have called you a snack by now, but I'm not gonna do it. Barely aware you are one, so why would I repeat myself? Ahem. <clears throat> Anyways, so I was wondering, would you maybe want to go out with me? <laughs> what does that look for? Come on, you can't tell me you didn't see this coming. We've been going on dates and talking a whole bunch lately. I don't see why this was such a surprise. Oh, very funny. Laugh at me all you want. Sure, I fell for that surprised face, but come on. I was expecting an answer by now. You can't blame me for being a little anxious and... You, you will? Look, I'm not used to asking people out, okay? This is a first for me, so. No, I'm not trying to rub it in, okay? I... I've just never been into somebody like I've been into you. Before, I just kind of went with it. But with you, I've really wanted it, and I would really like for it to work out you know maybe have a future together hopefully anyways i hope you're the one because we aren't getting any younger that's for sure no you're not old i'm just ah. listen <laughs> all i'm saying is that i want to grow old with somebody and have kids and or adopt or whatever have fur babies. Or maybe just us two. Like, I don't know. Whatever the future holds. And preferably be rich with them. So, you know, we can do whatever we want whenever we want. That's kind of a couple goals if you ask me. Oh, what are you, a gold digger? <laughs> Ouch. So, will you really be mine? Really? Pretty please? Pretty please with your favorite cherry on top? 
be pleased with whipped cream and a cherry on top of your double mocha latte vanilla frappuccino thingy that you always get. I don't know what you get, okay? Don't look at me. Just give me an answer. No, I suck at waiting. Yes. Yes. I mean, uh, cool. So, now that you're mine. I've never had somebody taste this good.